Hello dear friends and thank you so much for joining me in this video today. I have some very beautiful makeup products to show you from Florisys and I have their latest makeup release which is the Eastern Beast Sculpting Face Palette. I have used this palette for the past few days and I have to say that I'm in love with this palette. I also have some other exciting products to show you in this video. I'm going to show you everything in natural light, close-ups and swatches of the products in natural light so that you can decide for yourself um, which of the products are going to be the right ones for you and then I'm going to create a soft makeup look using the products that I have have. So let's go ahead and get started. This video is in partnership with Florisys and I would like to take a moment to say a huge thank you to Florisys for constantly supporting my work and for supporting my channel. It means so much to me. They have been very supportive to me and as a lot of you guys know I love their makeup products. I love the quality of their products and I love the whole craftsmanship and the stories behind the products. If you haven't watched my previous video and if you're quite new to Florisys, what I love about the brand is that they use a lot of floral extracts in their formulations and also their powders are formulated without talc which is always a great benefit for someone like me who has sensitive skin and in general I like when I see products powder products that are formulated without talc so let's go ahead and get started I as you can see I don't have any makeup on right now so I'm going to go ahead start applying my foundation and powder and in the meantime while I'm applying foundation concealer uh, I would like to show you close-ups of the products and tell you a little bit more about the story behind of the behind the products that I'm going to be showing you today so I'm going to list all of the products that I'm going to be using on my face. I'm going to list them in the description box. And now as I'm applying my foundation, I want to tell you a little bit more about the products that I'm going to be trying today. And also I'm going to insert some swatches and close-ups. And right now you can see all of the products that I'm going to be testing today on my face. And we have the Eastern Beast Sculpting Makeup Palette. We have one eyeshadow palette, a couple of blushes and a few lipsticks that I'm going to be showing you. I'm very excited to show you the Eastern Beast Sculpting Makeup Palette, which is the latest release from Florisys. This is a four in one uh, face palette for a natural and defined contour. I absolutely love this palette. I have used it very successfully on my face and on my eyes as well. So this palette is inspired by the traditional Chinese medicine and the formula of the powder is enriched with peony and calendula extracts. Also, this palette was, um, the design of the palette was inspired by the four beasts or the so-called four guardians, which are the white tiger, the green dragon, the black tortoise, and the vermilion bird. These are four mythological creatures appearing among the Chinese constellations. And uh, these are viewed as the four guardians, the four gods, or also the four auspicious beasts. And it's really great. It's really inspiring that you can learn so much and that all of the products created by Florisys have some history in them. This is something that truly inspires me. And this is something that I appreciate very much about their makeup products. They're not rushing to release a lot of makeup products, but everything has a story and you can learn something about the Chinese culture, which is something that I truly appreciate. Also this powder, this palette is formulated without talc, which is excellent for those of you who have sensitive skin. And what I love about this palette is also that the colors, we have one highlighter and then the four other colors are very firmly pressed powders and they're not flat matte, so they don't take away the glow from the face. So I want to make sure that I'm giving you really good close-ups of the palette so that you can truly appreciate the craftsmanship of the palette because there are so many details. The palette um, looks incredible in real life and it's very hard to swatch this palette but I've already used it for the past week um, at the time when I'm filming this video and I absolutely love it. So be sure that you're watching this video in HD and preferably on your desktop or laptop computer because that way you're really going to be able to appreciate all the craftsmanship of the products. The details are truly breathtaking. And next I want to show you the eyeshadow palette. 
This is the Floral Engraving Butterfly Makeup Palette Impression of Miao. It is truly stunning and breathtaking. In a minute, I'm going to show you also the box that it comes in, the packaging. It's absolutely stunning. This palette can be used again, both on the face and on the eyes. I find that the white pearly shade in the middle can be used very successfully as a highlighter. This is the box that um, comes with the palette and even the box, even the packaging is collectible. I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. It's so beautiful. So the design here was inspired by the Miao silver jewelry and the butterfly patterns that are typical for the art of the Miao people. The packaging is truly unique and exquisite and florists have crafted this unique case using the Miao silver engraving techniques. I have to say that I'm truly in love with, with this palette. You can create so many different looks with this palette. It can be used on the face and on the eyes, as I mentioned, and you have different textures of the eyeshadows. So the matte colors are firmly pressed powders. The powders don't have fallout. And then you have one shimmery shade, which is the gold shade on the top. You're going to see swatches in a minute. And I really love this beautiful royal blue color it's it's truly gorgeous used as an eyeliner or just one and done eye color even you can create so many different looks using this palette so you have matte colors you have metallics and you have shimmery colors with a different intensity of the shimmer you're seeing swatches in natural light right now and I think that this palette is beautiful because you can create multiple looks. You can create everyday looks, you have neutral colors, and at the same time, you can be even more adventurous if you want to. I have to say that the matte peachy shade, I can use it as a blush very successfully. I've tried um, yesterday using it as a blush and it gives a nice flush of color, flush of a peachy kind of blush. So there are multiple ways to use the palette. And then moving on to the blushes. Now, these are my favorites, especially the peachy blush. So these are the Fluoro Do Care Cream to Powder blushes. And this, they have some kind of magic inside of them. So these are cream blushes, but once I start touching them, they feel like a cream, but once I start applying them on my face, they turn into powder, but they still remain kind of dewy on the skin they still don't take away the glow from the skin and they add a very fresh color so i have been enjoying to these blushes a lot and especially this one that you're seeing right now the peachy blush so what I love about these blushes is that first of all, they don't take away the glow from my skin and at the same time, they last all day long from the morning until the evening. I don't feel the need to reapply. They don't feel cakey. They don't emphasize pores or fine lines. They just add a very healthy glow. And the peachy color is definitely my favorite. Now you can see swatches in direct sunlight and you can see those little reflective particles. This is what gives the skin this very youthful, juicy appearance. So let me just go ahead and give you a good close-up of the colors. And this is without the sunlight. So these blushes are truly exceptional. And then moving on to the beautiful lipsticks, you guys know how much I love the lipsticks. These are the Blooming Rouge Porcelain Lipsticks and the whole craftsmanship, like camera cannot do justice to these lipstick cases and the whole design and all of the details. This one right now it, that you're seeing is my perfect spring lip color. I absolutely love it. These have very interesting velvety texture and I like to use them on top of a lip balm, on top of a lip primer or, or a lip balm and also if you want, you can use those as a blush on the cheeks a little bit because the um, texture of the lipsticks is very velvety, soft, smooth, but still I like and I prefer to apply them on top of a lip primer. Both colors are absolutely gorgeous. This one is, um, it somehow makes the teeth appear much whiter. And here you can see swatches of all of the lipsticks. And after that, I'm going to show you also how they look on my lips. The colors are very beautiful. 
So this, the first two are the porcelain lipsticks and then I have two liquid lipsticks which I'm going to show you on my lips as well. And then I would like to show you also the ginseng lip scrub. So this one is enriched with desert rose and raspberry extract and it has little tiny fine sugars inside that help to exfoliate the lips. I love this product because it gets rid of the dead skin cells on the lip. Okay guys, now I have my foundation on and I have a little bit of lip primer. This is the ginseng lip primer. I really like it because um, it helps to protect my sensitive lips. I have very sensitive lips and I like to use it before applying a lipstick because it's not too emollient. So it doesn't make the lipstick bleed, but at the same time, it just provides them a very good amount of hydration and moisture to my lips. Now I'm filling my brows lightly with my favorite brow pencil. This one is from Floresis. I've shown this a few times in previous videos. You probably know about this one. This is their powder brow pencil and it's um, my current favorite. Really love this one. Now moving on to the Eastern Beast Sculpting Face Palette and this one is my favorite. My favorite because you can probably see that I've already started using it and some of the patterns are a little bit less visible but overall I have used this palette for a few days and you can see that most of the patterns actually the patterns are still here so you can use it without worrying. So I like to start with the white tiger shade here because this is a matte color. It's a matte cream color that I like to apply right under my eyes and on camera it's probably not going to be that visible but I just like to sculpt my face with this palette. It's very good for sculpting the face. So I like to apply it right under my eyes with a brush just to make sure that my powder is set and I don't use powder under my eyes. I just use this one. And then I like to apply also a little bit on the center of my face. Just the places that I want uh, from my face to stand out. And then what I like to do, I like to take the white tiger shade again and I like to apply it right here in the inner corners of my eyes, here in the hollows. Because if you are like me, if you are like 35 plus, you probably have seen, you probably have noticed that this part here becomes darker and somehow it loses volume. So I always like to apply some kind of a matte cream shade like this one because it helps to create the illusion that you didn't lose this volume here. So if you're like me, 35 plus and Caucasian, I see that a lot of Caucasians um, have this issue here over 30. Somehow we lose volume here. There are a lot of people that I've noticed just like me that lose volume. So this is almost like photoshopping yourself. And I also like then to apply a little bit on my brow bone because I never like to apply highlighter on my brow bone. Then I'm moving on to the blush and the powders are very firmly pressed, which is something that I like because they don't take away the glow from the face. I just want to go ahead and apply this blush to sculpt my face here. This is like my perfect blush shade, which looks very elegant, very natural on my skin tone. I believe that this color is going to suit on a lot of skin tones. And I really like that this palette is formulated without talc. Now I just want to make myself feel a little bit better and more confident and that's why I'm going to apply a little bit of lipstick on my lips just to feel more beautiful. That's why. So this is my perfect spring lip color. This one is the M304 and this one is the paler shade that I showed you. This is the perfect, perfect spring color. And since this, the texture of the lipstick is quite velvety, you can use it also on the cheeks as a blush. So I just took my hair back so that you can see better the color so that my hair doesn't get in the way. And now moving on to the beautiful highlighter. Now the highlighter is so creamy, buttery. It is literally gorgeous, absolutely stunning. I'm going to be using the same brush that I used for the white tiger shade, just because And this is what we have. Now the highlighter is buildable, so you can build it up to your liking. I personally like to wear it softer, but you can build it up and create a really 
um, very glamorous look and you can apply it also with a wet brush if you want to get the full impact. I personally like, as you know, a more natural looking makeup and for me applying it with a dry brush is absolutely enough. Okay, so this is the highlighter and I usually like to just take a little bit with my finger and apply right on the center of my on the bridge of my nose, just a little bit. And now moving on to the bronzer. The bronzer I think is great for sculpting the face. I just like to use it very lightly here. It matches my skin tone very beautifully, I have to say. I do a little bit of sculpting and for me, I think this is enough. Maybe a little bit on the forehead as well, but Overall, I think that this is the way that I like it and on the nose also I like to apply it. Now moving on to eyes and I really love using this palette on the eyes. This, is, this palette is actually very versatile and you can use it very successfully on the eyes as well to create a matte look or a shimmery look. I love using these colors on my eyes. Now I'm going to be using this bronzy shade. I'm going to be using it in my crease because I really like using this color in the crease. And I'm going to be using this color just to define my crease where I want it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it right in the crease and a little bit above the crease just because I want to be sculpting my eye. And this palette is gorgeous to be used on the eyes as well. So that's why this is my favorite product because not only it looks beautiful on the face, but also I love using it on the eyes. And you can do your whole eye look with this palette only. Next I'm moving on to the face palette and I'm going to be getting this darkest matte brown color. I'm going to be getting it with a smaller crease brush. And these colors are very firmly pressed so I really like it. I'm going to be applying this color right in the outer part of my eye, close to the lash line and also a little bit in the crease. But I want to keep this color only on the outer part of my eye. This is actually the look that I have been wearing it in the past couple of days and I really like it. It's very beautifying in real life, probably on camera not that friendly, but it's a gorgeous everyday look. So I'm just going to be applying the color here and on the other eye as well. Okay guys, so this is what we have so far and next I'm going to be using the other brown color which has tiny little, um, it is shimmery but it doesn't have visible shimmer so I would say that it's more like a metallic shade. So I'm going to be using the same brush just because, the same brush just because I want to blend the colors and it's so beautiful this shade. I'm going to be applying it again on the outer part of my crease just on the mobile eyelid and blending up to the crease but not really going into the crease directly. So this color is beautiful. It's also all a gorgeous one and done eye color. I really love it. Now I'm taking a clean brush again, a crease brush, and I'm going to be applying the peachy shade. This shade is actually going to help me to blend the colors more seamlessly. So this is what I have so far and now I'm going to be using the highlighter from the palette, from the face palette. I'm going to be using it directly with my fingertip and I'm going to be placing the color right in the inner corner of my eye. So I'm doing this with my finger first and then I'm taking a brush just to make the application more precise and I'm tapping the color into place. I'm going to be taking the dark brown color with an eyeliner brush and I'm going to be lining my lower lash line but just the outer part of my lower lash line. I'm using just a little bit of product because this color is very pigmented so I want to use only a little bit of color, a little bit of product. So this is what we have so far and I'm probably going to blend just a little bit more using a clean brush. And then I'm going to curl my eyelashes, apply mascara, and I'm going to be back for my blush and to swatch the lip colors. 
So this is the finished look. I'm not sure how this is going to look on camera, but I really like it for every day. It's just a very easy, quick, beautifying makeup look. Of course, this eyeshadow palette, you can create so many different looks. This blue color is absolutely gorgeous. It's very beautiful, used as an eyeliner. This blue color here. I also like these two colors. This one is one of my favorite shades. It's gorgeous for a one and done color. And with this palette, you can also use it on the face as well. So you can use this color as a highlighter on the face. It looks absolutely stunning. Now let me go ahead and show you also the other lipsticks. So I really like this color. I think that it's gorgeous for a statement look. This is the dark color. It's M212. I'm going to write everything in the description box. So I'm going to be applying this color now. So this is the darker shade. Let me know which one is your favorite and now let's go ahead and try also the liquid lipsticks. The first color that I'm going to be trying is M140. So something that I truly enjoy about this lipsticks is that you can see that it's quite a dark statement color. At the same time, it doesn't make my lips smaller because I have quite a thin lips. And I really, really like the fact that somehow it's probably because of the formulation. Now these lipsticks have been inspired by the unique Chinese silk and I really like the fact that they don't make my lips look smaller. Uh, on the contrary, they actually help me to shape my lips and they make my lips look quite impressive. And this one is M511. Actually, if I have to be honest, I can decide. I find it very hard to decide which lip color I prefer and which one is my favorite. I definitely like the light shade here because it's my perfect spring shade. And then from the liquid lipsticks, I think that I like both of them. They just um, are so beautiful because this color, it has a little bit of a brownish red um, color. And usually I cannot wear this kind of colors because they tend to make my lips look very small. Here it's probably because of the formulation, but just um, you can tell that my lips don't look smaller, which is amazing. It's just these lip colors don't make my lips look smaller, which is spectacular. Now I want to go ahead and I'm going to clean this part of my face only because I want to show you the beautiful blushes. So these are cream blushes. When you touch them, they are cream blushes. But once you start rubbing them against the skin and once you start applying them on the skin, they turn into powdery blushes. So these are absolutely stunning. This one is my favorite. So this is the peachy blush, which reminds me of like it reminds me of summer, it reminds me of sunset, of sunrise. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color. And I'm going to clean my face now and I'm going to show you both shades. This one is definitely my favorite. Okay, so I cleaned the blush as you can see and now I'm going to go ahead and apply my favorite one. Like I love, love, love this color so much. It's just so easy to use, so easy to apply. You can apply it with fingers or with a brush. It doesn't matter. You can also use a beauty blender to apply it. It's just a very fresh color, very easy to apply, very effortless to blend. And I find that these blushes are very easy to apply, whether you're going to use your fingertips, just like I did, or a brush something like this, a blush brush, or even a beauty blender. You can apply them on top of sunscreen, even if you're not wearing foundation, just to add some color to the face. This is definitely a product that I would absolutely 100% recommend. It's absolutely gorgeous. I don't have anything similar in my makeup collection. It's very easy to use, it's very effortless, and it gives a very healthy flush on, on the skin. Now let's go ahead and try also the other shade, the other deep berry shade. Let me go ahead and show you. And here I'm going to be using a brush just to show you also a brush application. Okay, this one is really pigmented. I only need a little bit. I think that this one is going to look absolutely stunning on someone who has olive skin tone. So this is the second one. 
don't forget to let me know in the comment section below which one is your favorite. And before I end this video, I wanted to share with you a cleansing oil that they sent me. Sadly, currently it's not available for international shipping, but I know that they are working on the international shipping because I messaged them. So this is a product that like literally wowed me. You guys know that I have sensitive skin and I like to use cleansing oils and cleansing balms. Now this is literally the very very best cleansing oil that I have ever tried. I had to actually send them an email to ask a little bit more information about the oil. So on the packaging I could definitely see that this is a a flower nourishing cleansing oil and I see on the back even though it's in Chinese I can see a lot of floral extracts so it has a very impressive blend of flower extracts in here and like it removes the makeup so effortlessly it literally removes waterproof makeup so effortlessly I was surprised and I couldn't believe it the first time when I use it I just didn't need to double cleanse I didn't need to rub in my skin I didn't need to pull my skin and it's it's unlike any other um, cleansing oil that I have ever used you usually have to massage a little bit and with most cleansing oils or cleansing balms you're usually going to be left after that with a greasy residue with a little bit of an oily residue or the skin is going to feel a little bit dry um, and stressed after removing so this one just removes the makeup in a blink I don't know how to explain it, but just um, one cleanse is enough to remove all of my makeup. Of course, for my eyes, I always use micellar water, but for my face, like this is so incredibly gorgeous and I'm going to be very careful when I'm using it because they currently don't have international shipping, but this is definitely a product that I want to have a lifetime supply from this one. I don't know, it just, I've never, I've never tried anything like this before. I don't have similar cleansing oil and I hope that they're going to have international shipping soon because I definitely want to keep repurchasing this one because it is absolutely stunning. So if you happen to watch this video in a few months or a year, probably definitely go ahead and check out their website for this oil. It's called the Floresis Flower Nourishing Cleansing Oil. I hope they're going to have international shippings. So that was all for today's video. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I know how precious time is and I always feel very honored when you choose to spend some time with me and when you choose to watch my videos. Once again, I would like to say a huge and very special thank you to Floresis for supporting my work and for partnering with me on this video. I feel truly honored to be working with um, such a company like Floresis. And I hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.